And we are back on the flex. We have two callers on the line right now, Miss Latrice Haylock and Miss Patrice Bearsing. Hello, ladies. Are you there? Hi. Hi, we're here. Hi. Welcome to the flex, even though you're not here physically. How are you today? We're good. We're really busy in the office, you know, so it's kind of good that we can connect with you over the phone. It works out perfectly. Exactly. And thank you so much for calling in. So you guys have the Young Image Makers competition going on right now? Yes. That's right. Um, it's actually a pretty awesome, I would say, in simple terms, exciting and great program for young people between the age of 10 and 17 and have an interest in filmmaking. I was speaking to my team yesterday and today and it would be really it would have been really cool if I had this opportunity that was you when I was younger you know what I mean but uh, fortunately enough uh, the good people at CNCF were able to conceptualize a program and they've been doing it they've done it five times in the past um, six years Wow and it's going to be something that will be I guess phenomenal for Cayman and phenomenal for young people and we just really want to encourage people to enter mm -hmm. we really want to explore the filmmaking industry um, as a career and also from an artistic expression point of view okay so how do you enter into this competition well entry is open right now and the deadline is april 13th so that is two weeks from now mm -hmm. and pretty much all you have to do is submit a more what is it a, a short film a short film yeah. um uh, on a jump drive or if you could send it in via email but we suggest having it on a CD or something physical you fill out a form uh, which you can get upon delivering your film or you can access it on our website right. and we'll talk more about that after this discussion where the website information is so you're filling out a form and you're submitting a film the okay. film is no less than one minute in length and no more than three minutes in length okay and it could be about anything. It could be about a social issue. It can be for entertainment purposes only. You can use whatever graphics or um, or sound effects or visual effects you need to kind of relay your story to your audience. As long as you're not doing a PowerPoint presentation, the, the, the door is pretty much open. <laughs> and we've had some awesome submissions in the past. Okay. So... What ages, again, did you say it's from 10 to 17-year-olds? Yeah, it's 10 to 17. There's two categories. We uh -huh. have um, a category for 10 to 13-year-olds, and we have a category for 14 to 17-year-olds. Okay, so what are some of the prizes that you can win? Well, it's not some of the prizes. It's actually two awesome prizes, and okay. we should have probably started it off with this. So, get this. Two winners will get the chance to go to New York okay. one week and get an all-expense-paid scholarship to the New York Film Academy filmmaking workshop. Wow. Right. Um, New York Film Academy is tantamount and paramount when it comes to filmmaking, theater um, in the U.S. They have several locations within the U.S., but we've been using the New York location for the um, past couple of programs. Wow, that's very huge. That's really, really big. Okay, so if I was between the ages of 10 to 17, the prizes alone would make me want to enter, but the opportunity, the exposure, the networking skills that you get from this competition is just the icing on the Eight, cake. Right. So we spoke about, so that's the grand prize. But in addition to that, 20 finalists will get the chance to be treated in Hollywood style to a screening event on June 30th. So we, ha we, we deck out the theater and we show all of the top 20 films. Uh -huh. um, there are judges there. They get a limo ride. Um, we, we really deck it out like a real theater, cinema, popcorn, hot dogs, whatever you need. There's going to be entertainment. It's going to be hosted by some youth celebrity judges. And they get to see their films on the big screen and really be treated like professional filmmakers. So they get a t taste of what um, would be to come if they were to... Uh, pursue a career in filmmaking. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. It sounds yeah. very fun. Okay, so for the premiere night, can people buy tickets to attend to see the top twenty films, or it's just, or is it just like the filmmakers? Well, you know, I have good news for you. It's actually not for sale. It's free. So um, we do open it up for the filmmakers to invite all their friends, and so people who are listening to the video, so especially young people, they're invited to come and see what has happened over the course of the month and see what these young people have come up with. But to answer your question, no, it's free. I okay, mean, so Aliyah. Know, right? but <laughs> our, our a big mandate for us, our big mission for us is to stimulate and educate. And so to do that, we want to make it an all-inclusive event where people have the opportunity to come and see something like this. Except
especially young people. Okay. And we can expect this competition to happen at least once every year? Right. So that is the plan. I know one year we skipped, um, but it is to be an annual event. Um, and I don't know if... Latrice has anything to add, but I definitely can say to you that this is also part of the K-Film Festival. So the premiere happens the weekend before. It's like a kickoff to K-Film, and they are also integral in regards to the judging process. So again, there's a lot of big networking opportunities, publicity, educational learnings, because you're also knocking heads with some huge filmmakers from k So for instance, the judges are Frank Flowers, Frankie Flowers, are Frankie Flowers, Tony Mark from K-Film, and we have um, Sean Bodden, who is the president of the Film Commission and in charge of Whirly Bird. And he does all these big commercials that you see on TV. So we're talking about industry professionals working hand in hand with these young filmmakers. Wow. So they're definitely going to get the experience of a lifetime if they win or even if they don't win. Just being in the top 20 alone sounds like a great opportunity for these young filmmakers to learn from. Yeah, right. So once people are selected uh, after a final like preliminary, mm -hmm. 20 students will be selected to go to a workshop, um, free. a free workshop, which is going to take place over one weekend, uh, which will be announced very soon, uh, where they can learn more techniques with these industry people and to fine tune their videos. And another aspect of this competition is that we're going to have a People's Choice Award where we'll upload all of the videos online and, uh, you know, people, listeners, everybody can... The general public. Yeah, general public can literally go online and vote for their favorite video and that will also be announced at the premiere. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So if you know that someone, like people out there, like really like your video. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not just shown to the judges only and a few yeah. selected friends. A big group right. of people right. get the opportunity to see your hard work. Yeah. Exactly. Because as you know from watching other award shows, whether you're talking about your MTV, your BET Awards, etc., definitely sometimes the public has a different perception. So mm -hmm. it gives, again, a community feel to be involved in this program. The judges are obviously going to be looking at more technical skills. And um, the public will, you know, you can vote for what you like, what you have an emotional connection to. So again, the 20 finalists have several opportunities to be awarded for their work. So is it just technical skills that the judges are going to look out for? It's or? definitely technical skills, uh -huh. but technical also involves areas of storylining, how they're editing, audio, um, feel, um, direction. Um, yes, it's definitely something, it's technical. If you're going to New York Film Academy, it's not going to be something just based on a throw-up or you haven't spent enough time on it. You're going to be knocking heads with some of the top film talent in, 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 in the country in terms of America. So we have to make sure that we send the best from Cayman. Yeah. So what advice would you have for young people that would want to enter into this um, Definitely, it is the day of Google. You know, and I always tell my interns and my young people, there's so much you can learn on YouTube. I tell you, if you just if you research how to edit, what editing programs you can use, um, what sound techniques you can use, you definitely use the internet as a tool to gain resources to really work on your film. Drag in your friends, drag in your parents, drag in your family, <laughs> and be creative, right? Think of something that really touches your heart, and don't think, don't overthink it. It could be the simplest thing. We've had films from horror films to films about food items to films about friends, about bullying. We've had a wide range. It could be comedic. Just think about the movies that you've seen uh, and just and add your personal touch to it and, 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 and shoot for the stars. Think of something that you would want to represent yourself um, and that you would, you, know, you would want the world to see as opposed to, and I don't want to say this, don't, don't think small. That's what I'm saying. You know, mm -hmm. Just don't do it just to do it. Do it so that maybe maybe someone might see it. They might hire you. I don't know. Or um, just to represent well. Because yeah. Because that workshop is actually going to help fine-tune. And you want to bring, bring, bring forth your best work so that you can build on top of what you've already done. Exactly. Put your best foot forward. Exactly. Best, put your best foot forward. So, um, yeah. And you can... Another thing is a lot of people think films have to be shot on these high-end cameras. I actually was reading an article uh, three months ago... Uh, and a photographer, he got an award for filming one of the top photo shoots in Vogue on his iPhone. Wow. Yeah. So a lot of it not necessarily That's has to do with the quality of your device, but it has to do with the story that you're telling with your pictures, with your cinematography, 
with your story. So you can use your smartphone and film the entire film. Wow. It doesn't have to be a high-end camera, a, third, a millimeter or a big, you know, those big red cameras. You, don't need <laughs> yes. that. you can shoot it from your um, smartphone. Definitely. So you have no excuse. You don't need a big heavy camera. You Get your to iPhone. And, like, break your pocket. Exactly. Yeah. Get your I cousin from down the, the street. Films are filmed on phone. So exactly. Okay. Drag your neighbors. Drag you have your friends. Exactly. <laughs> your pets. Everything. <laughs> your pets for real. You have two weeks left. There is no excuse. So everyone is welcome to enter between the ages of ten to seventeen. Yes, ma'am. And where do you submit the jump drive? All right. So the CNCF offices are on the same compound as the Harkwell Theater. Okay. So we're the building behind the theater. So once you bring your jump drive up there. They'll make sure that the file is on there and it works. It should be no more than three minutes. It needs to be fully complete. It needs to be edited. It's not a PowerPoint presentation. It is a, mm-hmm. build, a motion picture, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of the form, you can go on our website. It's artscayman.com. That's A-R-T-S-C-A-Y-M-A-N dot O-R-G. And um, look for the YIM um, program. And the, the form is on there. You can fill it out and email it to the email address that's on there, which is CNCF at artscayman.org but again just to be simple just go on artscayman.org and look for him to find out more information about how you can enter or pop down to our offices located at the Harkwell Theater anytime before 5 30 during the week to submit your jump drive all right thank you so much miss latrice and miss patrice bear singh yeah, I, know I hope you get you. <laughs> and i just want to follow up that with if you want to follow more on cncf and figure out what we're doing on a day-to-day basis mm-hmm. we're on instagram facebook and twitter at cayman culture all right so came on culture instagram facebook right yes ma'am all right thank you so much for sharing i hope you get plenty of entries and i hope the judges have a hard time deciding who the winner oh, is that's not nice. <laughs> <laughs> i want everyone's work to be really really good so thank yeah. you so much for sharing do you have any final comments or shout outs do you Latrice, shout out your people you know what shout out to everybody <laughs> and i just want to let all the young kids know to do not miss this opportunity. Don't look at the time limit and say, well, two weeks is too short. Just do, do it. it. One start right now. You guys have the weekend. You so have start two now. weeks. You have the weekend. You're on vacation. Just, just get it done. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Cool. All right. We'll take All our right. fourth music break. Or second music break. Sorry. Our second song today is Hymn for the Weekend by Coldplay featuring Beyonce. Beyonce.